Hey guys, welcome to day eight of Vlogmas. Now I am sitting on the floor of the bathroom that I am working on right now. I have some underlayment over here and I have some vinyl plank flooring right here. Now I wanted to talk to you a little bit about vinyl flooring, like what this uh, little underlayment does and especially this life proof floor right here. I've redone quite a few floors in this house. I've used pergo flooring. I've used some really cheap stuff from Home Depot and then this life proof stuff. Now this life proof is definitely the most expensive one that I've used, but it's great for bathrooms. It's great for laundry rooms, smaller spaces. This, I think this is around like 270 square foot. I'll put that up on the screen just to make sure. But this stuff is great. You can kind of see it right here. It comes in a variety of different widths here. Let me grab a couple pieces. I can show you. So this is a 10 inch section and there's a six and a four inch. So the six and the four inch sections click together and then that can click into the end of your 10 inch section. So these just kind of slip together with a tongue and groove system. Now it's e it'll be easier for me to show you when this is like laying flat on the floor, but they kind of slip into each other and then they lock into place. There are quite a few different ways that you can lay this floor down to get a style that you like. So this shade is called seasoned wood. There is a little bit of variation from like lighter wood to darker wood, but it's perfect. And I have this in a bathroom of mine that I've had installed for about two years. It is scratch resistant. It is waterproof. It looks amazing. It feels and looks luxurious, super easy to clean. This is definitely one of the more expensive options available. Each box is about 19 and a half square feet, but keep in mind, you do have quite a bit of waste. If you're going to be staggering your seams, the suggested stagger is about eight inches. And I think the eight inches actually does look really, really good. So there is quite a bit of waste, but if you're doing a small area, like a small bathroom, it is definitely definitely worth it. I'm going to be doing a review of different types of laminates and vinyl floors that I have put down and show you kind of like a wear test of what's been going on after two years. That video is going to be in the future so if you want to see something like that please subscribe, give this video a thumbs up, and let me know in comments below if you do want to see a video like that. I think it would be helpful if you guys are trying to pick out different types of floorings for your home. Let's talk about underlayment. It comes in like a big roll like this. It's not very expensive and it's kind of like a plasticky foam. The reason you want to put this underneath your vinyl or laminate floors is because you're even though they're vinyl or laminate the boards do kind of expand and contract a little bit with different humidity and temperatures so you do need the boards to kind of be able to slide just like a quarter of an inch if they need to go anywhere on the floor it also makes it a little bit more padded and it helps the boards lay down smoother especially if your surface underneath isn't like totally level um, this kind of helps that out just a little bit. This has quite a few layers. It's actually pretty thick. The technology in here is wonderful. It's, I think it's a vapor barrier. It's, it's really great. Like it's engineered really, really well. Some of the other stuff is like really, really flimsy and is not as good as this, but I can't recommend a floor more than this. I've recommended this to so many people who have seen that bathroom and they're like, what is this? And I'm like, you gotta get it. It's that life proof stuff. I'm gonna go ahead and start laying my underlayment down. Now you guys, I am doing vlogmas. This is actually like a day. I don't know if I'm going to be able to get everything done today. So if I don't get everything done today, check in tomorrow for day nine and then I will definitely have this floor finished. I do have to remove a pedestal sink and I don't know if that is going to be easy enough. I think it's two pieces. Usually pedestal sinks are two pieces, but this one uh, where the caulk line is underneath the, like the vessel part of the sink, it looks like grout. So I don't know if that's like a, a permanent like whole thing or if that's two pieces. I gotta figure that out. That might take me some time. So if I don't get everything done today, check in tomorrow. tomorrow I'll show you some before and afters of me renovating this entire bathroom. This stuff used to be pink. Now it's white. I've put some wallpaper up in here. I made some DIY shelves. It's looking pretty cute. So check in tomorrow and I will do kind of a before and after. Now I have my underlayment down and I just have the seams taped because when you're working in a smaller area, sometimes the tape edge just isn't ideal for where you need to put it. So I just taped it with some painter's tape. So we're getting ready to install our first run of boards. Now for the design in here, I'm going to start with a six inch and a four inch. Now I will be connecting these two. So you just, you do need two hands for this, but make sure your tongue and groove is together and then you're just gonna snap it into place. Then we're gonna be adding this uh, 10 inch section to the end right here, but I do have to cut out for the sink drain. You do need a quarter spacing over here that will eventually be covered by trim that allows for expansion and contraction of your flooring. But I'm gonna go ahead and start 
laying this stuff down. I got a couple courses down. Now I just have to make kind of a template for around the toilet. So I cut a piece of craft paper that is the same size as the board that I will be using to put here. And now I am just kind of finding the contour around the toilet by slashing and then taping. So I have my paper taped down exactly where it's gonna go connected to here. This is almost exactly like draping in fashion design. <laughs> You're just going to find your contour kind of slashed down so you can get this to lay flat. The tape is essentially like a pin on your dress form. Slash down. Find that point. And then you can take your pencil and you can mark exactly that contour of your toilet. So when you take this off, you have your pencil line of where you need to cut your wood. So I gotta get back there and finish this and I'll take it off and show you what it looks like. This stuff is very easy to cut. You just score it and snap it. You just mark your pencil line. Now this edge is going to be hidden under the baseboard so I could just cut it freehand or I could use a ruler. Right now I'm just using this one by four as a little guide. And then all you do is just score and it will snap after just one score. But I like to go in and do it probably like two times. Just feel where you scored it on the other side, put some pressure on the part that's not scored and then just snap it up. Whoa, and it comes right off. Sometimes if you snap it, this rubber back here might still be connected. So you would just snap it back and then snap it forward and it would come apart. Easy peasy. Just make sure you're cutting the right side. So this is the male side, this is the female side. Just make sure you're cutting on the right end. Now we have our template for the toilet cut out. Now I'm just going to line up my paper and tape the paper to the board itself. So it doesn't move. So now I have my template taped onto the board I need to cut. And I'm just gonna go in with a marker and Follow that template. Just mark where I need to cut. We can take this template off and cut right along our marker line. Well guys, this is not looking too shabby. Cut around the toilet, looking good. I gotta put some baseboard and trim down. I have to build a box around my pipes. But other than that, this looks freaking great. I have to do this last piece. I got to cut out for my door jams, take this saddle off. I'm going to use this 10 inch section right here. Hey, buddy. You know, cutting around this toilet was a bitch, but it looks pretty darn good. We just kind of go in with a little bit of silicone caulk, seal that up, and you never know. Hey, that is it for today. Check in tomorrow. We will finish that piece right there. And then I'm going to show you the rest of this bathroom and how I have totally redone it.